process for, for writing music for a film, in my experience anyways, um, has been different from film to film. Uh, when I did The Nation's Deathbed, it was a different process than it was for United We Fall. And again, within the fire, it's been a totally different kind of process again. And generally, it starts out with, you know, a scene or a, a sequence of scenes. And once uh, myself, Steve, and Brian are happy with the particular scene, uh, at that point, then I move on to a concept and I try to figure out what, what is the vibe of the scene, what kind of emotions are we trying to portray with this scene. For instance, in the, um, in the in the rain sequence, we call it, in the, in the scene where the rain starts coming down, um, I knew that first thing that came to my head was cellos. Uh, I, I knew I wanted a nice, big sounding cello there. I didn't know what the melody line was going to be like or anything. All I knew is this scene feels like it needs cellos and violins and violas and strings. So that's how it started. I got the concept, I got the I knew the emotion and the vibe I was going for. I came up with an idea for how it should sound. And then I just sat down and came up with the melody line and everything just kind of builds on it from there. To get inspired for, for a particular scene, again, it starts with the vibe or the emotion. Um, like in, in the beginning of the film with Charlie Beach, um, I knew I wanted something that sounded fun, happy, upbeat, uh, because the scene calls for that. Charlie is clowning around, he's joking around, he's having fun, having a good time. Um, and I knew I wanted something you know, kind of kind of bouncy, that's all I knew. So the first thing I thought was, you know, maybe some sort of a hip-hop beat. Um, so I actually just grabbed my, my iPod just, just to try to get some inspiration uh, for beats. And uh, I went through a whole bunch of Jurassic 5s and J5 tracks. I kept skipping through. And uh, I, I found a, a neat kind of beat, and I was like, oh, okay, that's... That's cool. That's that's a that's a hip hop beat that I'm, that I'm looking for. And then I kind of basically just made it my own. It was a simple beat, and I accented, accentuated, added things, and made it fit to the scene. Uh, so that was step one for that. Uh, and then again, the bass line followed, and the synth line, and the piano, and everything. If I were writing a song for radio, let's say, um, it would be completely different than, you know, the way I, I write for film. Everything is done to picture. 
uh, everything is done to purposely line up with what is going on, on on the screen. However, at the same time, I try my best to keep it musically making sense. Um, for example, in Disengage, in, in the first, uh, the opening uh, eight bars or so, normally, if I were writing that song to play it on stage or to try to get it on the radio, that intro would be half as long. But because of the way the scene played out, you know, it made sense to extend it for an extra four bars and everything fit in perfectly that way. Ready? Yep. When I sit down to write a song for a film or a particular scene, you know, it starts uh, not here, it starts in my room at home. I'll spend a you know, number of hours just sitting there 
Sometimes I'll start with the guitar, sometimes I'll start on the keyboard, which is some piano stuff. Uh, depending on the scene, um, I mean this one I'm working, going to lay down today, I started with uh, drums and I map out, I, you know, I, I mapped out an entire section with the drums and then we start overlaying stuff over top of that.
process of writing the theme song w was interesting. I knew I wanted it to somehow build. That's all I knew, is I wanted this thing to build and build and build. And knowing that it was going to be used in the climax of the movie, if you will, the kettling scene at Queen of Spadina, uh, I decided to go just straight to that scene and to start uh, writing the music uh, to it. Once I laid down the initial bed track of the synth line, it was just a matter of, of layering on top of that and building and building and building. Um, some of the things I ended up doing for that thing I didn't even know I was going to do until I was here in the studio. A lot of times things get written right here in the studio just kind of on the spot. Uh, that's the beauty with music, you know. Sometimes uh, that's just how it works out and uh, that's how it worked out with the theme song. You know, uh, I was here and you know, I, I noticed he has a, uh, a wah-wah pedal here, and I said, oh, that might be neat to, to throw in some of that. Let's see how that sounds. What is your favorite song on the Into the Fire soundtrack? Hmm. Favorite song on the Into the Fire soundtrack. Um. Yeah, I'm really happy with the way the theme song went. Particularly the way the theme song builds to a climax and then leads into this kind of epic sounding string section for the for the rain sequence. Uh, I was really happy with the way that turned out. On top of that, I, I like some of the other kind of heavier songs uh, that I did. This this film called for some different types of emotions, different types of vibes than other films that I've done have called for. Uh, so it was fun to write some of the kind of heavy, distorted guitar tracks. Um, so yeah, I'd say the theme song and a close a close second would be uh, the whole world is watching. Uh, that's uh, just my kind of tune.